What's up guys, Hunter from Rep the Guys here. Um, so this video will be all about my Red Tegu Zeus. Uh, this will just be all about him, uh, telling his story, how he's been, and yeah, and stuff like that. Uh, to start off, he's right here. He's in his little... The cage is... The, the glass is all dirty, but that's him in there. Um... He just has a normal setup. Well, it, I kind of made it kind of foresty, like over here in this direction, but not really that much. Uh, he has his basking rock, which he built a little hide in here. I'll show you. Hide, and it goes right in the back here. So he enters right through here, and then he just lays down and right under here. There's a piece of shed under there. But uh, yeah, he's really he's really cool. Uh, he's tamed, so that's good. I have a, I have a semi-big lizard tame. I'll get him out right now. He's a little skittish, though, so I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, and, uh, I have two heat lamps because it wasn't getting that rock hot enough. So now it's really, really hot. It's like 110, so that's good enough for him. Uh, but yeah, I have a UVB under this... This towel. I have the towel to keep the humidity in because it's a uh, mesh top. But yeah, here he is. He's my little baby. I held him a lot yesterday. I want to get him over here because I can open it easier. And outside. It's really, it's a really cool piece of shed right here. Like it's whole back, and it looks pretty sick. So I'm keeping it. There he is. He's really big. I think he's obese, actually. Cause like, look at his thighs. His thighs are humongous. It's, his thighs are just like really big and stuff. But yeah, he's really, he's really cool. Uh, his name is Zeus. Off the, the god. Sorry, he's whipping his tail around. But yeah, he's a he's a really cool lizard. Um, the only reason I don't take him out a lot is because he likes to pee everywhere. So I don't want him to like pee all over the place. But yeah, he's really cool. Um, if you didn't know his story, his story is I got him at the Daytona Expo, uh, October eighteenth. So it was a little over a couple months, like three or three months or so. Uh, but, um, so I was taking him home one night, uh, I was taking him home from the expo, and I was looking at him, and he was, he was looking kind of tired, just like this, you know, a little tired, and I thought that the bag he was in, he couldn't get a lot of oxygen, so I opened the bag up, and then he was looking tired like this, so I was like, you know what, I'll take a nap too. So, I fell asleep, and he woke up, and he got out of the cage or got out of the bag and so once he got out of the bag he wandered in my mom's car and we didn't get him for three days so he came out to eat well actually no I think it was longer than three days I think it was four or five maybe but he I, we laid out food he would come out to eat and then once we were about to catch him he'd run back in the spot which was like I don't even know where like you couldn't find him at all but, he's here now, and then once I got him, put him in this little 10-gallon, because I didn't have this yet. But I put him in this little 10-gallon, and then I decided, you know what, time for me to start taming him. So I took him out, put him on the bed. He sprints right into this back corner, and then he turns a corner on this, like, on this edge, and half of his tail falls off. So this part from, like, from here... To here was all off. It was just there's just nothing there, and yeah. So his first week was not so good, but after at the end he's he's pretty healthy right now. I mean, I actually think he's kind of too fat, so I might put him on a little diet, like only fruit, no meat for like a couple days, um, or maybe minus the meat a little bit because I give him kind of a big portion. 
because he finishes it all because he's really big. But he's really cool. Um, he's never tried to bite me, never bit me. Uh, I don't know what else to say about him. He's just, he's a really cool animal. Um, if you want a big lizard that's really nice and will be tame and don't have to acquire cricket, crickets, I would definitely go with the Tegu because they are really cool animals. Um, I'm not sure, sure about iguanas. Iguanas eating over here. But, um, yeah, he is not tame at all. He's just, he's still a baby. He's not tame. Maybe he'll get tamer, but, yeah, he's not really that tame. But he is really cool. But, yeah, so, he's really cool. Um, he eats really, really good, like, if you could tell by his fatness. And he has, like, these big, fat thighs right here. His really fat thighs. Um, yeah. So this is him. It's really, it's a really good tiggy. My friends, when I first got him, thought he wasn't real because of the pattern on his head, because it looks so cool. But yeah, this is him. Uh, I actually haven't measured him. I have no clue how long he is. He's probably, I don't know, two feet, maybe, maybe not. Um, he's, I think he's bigger than my bearded dragons already, and he's just two months old. But yeah, he's. I hope to be building him a bigger cage because he can barely fit in that cage. Because you see how big he is. But he's, yeah, I'll definitely get one of these. These are really cool animals. But uh, yeah. So that's basically him. Um, if there's any questions on Tegus or anything, just comment below. Um, one of the questions might be, how frequently do you feed them? I feed them every other day. Uh, uh, I don't know, like this this much ground turkey. And then I'll put blueberries around the ground turkey. He loves blueberries and stuff, so I just get him whatever he wants. He's a little piece of shit on his eye. But yeah, uh, taming him is not that hard, actually. Uh, what I just did was I left him alone in the cage for a little bit. And once I left him in the cage, he knew I was going to be like... Because I kept feeding him and feeding him, so he knew I was good. Because he, get, he just kept eating and eating and eating. So I just took him out of the cage a lot. And now he's just really cool. It's really, really cool. But yeah, that's him. Uh, his colors aren't coming out that much right now because he's kind of mad. And I took him out. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what time it is, but it's getting it's starting to get dark outside. So, yeah, but that's him. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, just comment below. And, oh shit, I'll just put him back in his cage. I don't know if I'll eat. No, he won't. Oh yeah, by the way, this is just a boiled egg. I didn't have any food for him. I didn't have any, uh, oh no. I had ground turkey, but I just decided to feed him boiled egg. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the hide back. I'll do that. But, uh, yeah, so I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um... If you want me to, I'll do a Take You Care video because I really like them and I hope a lot of people want to get them. But just tell me what videos to make, any video requests or anything. Just message me or put it in the comments below. But uh, that was Zeus and you guys have a Merry Christmas and see you guys.